peace, blessings, and love to you and your families. So the name of this video is going to be called the Tear the Skin Off of My People. And we're going to explain how they give you a day so that you may celebrate your culture and parade out there. Like the scripture says, they parade their sins like Sodom. And so in this video, that's pretty much what we're going to talk about. This is why they give you a Puerto Rican Day Parade, a Caribbean Day Parade, Labor Day Parade. You see that? So that what? So that these people who created these derogatory names for you to call yourselves, so that you may destroy yourselves with their creation. See that? That's why those bywords were given to you. Celtic people native people Psalms 83 and 4 come they say the same people who told you that you were Irish American African come they say let us destroy them as a nation so that what so that Yasharel's name is remembered no more so Yahweh our God says that Whatever he chooses to put his name at, that is the place that we are supposed to be seeking, you know, remembering, right? Yahweh said that his name was going to be in our people's minds. Which is why Yahweh Shalom is considered to be his holy people, the holy temple. That's the reason why the scripture in Jeremiah says, Do not say this is the temple of Yahweh, or the temple of Yahweh. Why? Well, because the people of Yahweh is the temple of Yahweh. You see that? What do you think? The scripture says that these people, these people, right? The same one who gave you religion, the same one who created St. Patrick's Day, a Puerto Rican Day parade. A Black History Month. These people created that so that what? So that you may forget the name of Yahweh. Remember the scripture says they seem to make my people forget my name through their what? Through their bell worship and through their dreams. So that's how Yasharel's name is remembered no more because Yahweh put his name in Yasharel. Remember that? And so the people of Yasharel, they forget the name of Yahweh, and that's why they themselves become blotted out from the Book of Remembrance. All right? Verse 5. With one mind, they plot together. They form an alliance against you. Christianity, Islam, Judaism. Okay? That is where they get their bell worship from. From these so-called Canaanite fertility gods and goddess. So-called false. Let's go ahead and show you. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagrites. Biblos, Ammon and Amalek. Philistine with the people of Tyre. Even Assyria has joined them to what? To reinforce Lot's descendants. Do to them as you did to Midian, as you did to Sisera and Javan at the river Kishon, who perished at Endor and became like what? Like dung on the ground, with nobody to gather them. You see that? And see why we always say that, that these people here, these same religious, violent people, well, they will be on the streets, you know, crying and lamenting. They will be the same ones, in rage and looking upward, cursing their king and their god. That's why they will become like dung on the ground, waiting for their Hamashiach, their Lord and Savior. Okay, like dung on the ground. You see why? It says that this plague, this plague here, shall make their eyes rot in their sockets, their tongues rot in their mouth, like dung on the ground, waiting for a lie. Okay, do you see? The spiritual vexation, do you see? 
how you are destroying yourself because you can easily stop believing this lie Psalms 64 verse 6 they you see that the same day that say come let us destroy them they plot injustice and say we have devised a perfect plan surely the human mind and heart are cunning like we just read with what with one mind they work together just like with one mind they're planning on making a one world order or rather say one world government new world order whatever you people call it right it's been happening okay that's why these people here think that they have devised the perfect plan no surely the human beings are not going to understand what we've done they're not going to see you know the works that are done in the dark no so you see why the darkness has to come into the light and whatever is done in it must be exposed that's why it's apocalypse time that's why things and people are being exposed okay look what it says but the most high Yahweh, not your Lord and Savior, but Yahweh, our God, the true God, will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. Who are Yahweh's arrows? Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 24. I set a trap for you, Babylon, and you were caught before you knew it. You see that? That's why Yahweh told you that a calamity that you cannot foresee will suddenly overtake you. You see that? One that you will not be able to ward away. I set a trap for you, Babylon, and you were caught before you knew it. You were found and captured. Because why? Because you opposed Yahweh. Do you see why? Yahweh, your God, is victorious. You see that? You see why Babylon shall and will fall? Because it has already happened. And we are living every day another step closer to the physical judgment. And when our eyes shall physically see it. Okay? Now, let's continue to read. Yahweh has opened his arsenal and brought out the weapons of his wrath. For the sovereign Yahweh Almighty has work to do in the land of the Babylonians. Plenty of work to do. Do you see? Plenty of work shall be done in the future kingdom, especially for the oppressors. Oh, they're going to have plenty of jobs and plenty of work to do. See that? Because they're going to have to make it right one way or another. For the Most High Yahweh says that he loves justice. Remember that? So justice has to be done. Okay? Righteous justice, not unrighteous injustice no the righteous judgment shall be executed upon the oppressors through the spirit of Yahweh which is happening now what do you think all these you know billionaires they're becoming bankrupt you know these billionaires that want to live in the high penthouses with the glass windows <laughs> well they're getting arrested because why? Oh, because these people here are the same ones funding the other countries that want to take over our land here. Are you starting to get the pieces to the puzzle? So again, for the sovereign Yahweh Almighty has work to do in the land of the Babylonians. Plenty of work, plenty of exposing. Because that's what shall be happening in these times and in these days to the oppressors to the people who want to live in penthouses and look down on us these are your days for the mighty kings who rule the earth and want to tread on the foot the poor these are the days that you shall be captured and found and thrust with the words of Yahweh which is his deadly arrows see that come against her from afar break open her granaries 
pile her up like what? Like heaps of grain. Completely destroy her and leave her no remnant. Do you see how you will become childless in a single day? Do you see how widowhood will overtake you in a moment? See why the most high Yahweh says that you said to yourself that you were the one and there is none besides you. See that? And so, happy is the one who what? Who takes her little ones and dashes them against the rocks. Therefore, leave her no remnant. What else it says? Well, kill all her young bulls. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe to them, for their day has come. The time for them to what? To be punished. Do you see that? Who shall be punished? Well, the cruel. The people who like to do the punishing. The people who like to be cruel. These are your days. Woe to them, for their day has come. Listen to the fugitives and refugees from Babylon declaring in Tzayawan how Yahweh, our God, has taken vengeance. Vengeance for who? For his temple, his people. Do you see that? Are you starting to get it? The place where the Most High Yahweh placed his name. The place where he dwells. It's a people before a place. That we forget how your how your God dwells in the midst of you, right? Well, for our God Yahweh is taking vengeance and shall be taking vengeance for his people, his temple. Furthermore, summon archers against Babylon, all those who draw the bow and camp all around her let no one escape repay her for her deeds do to her as she has done for she has defiled Yahweh, the holy one of Yasharal you see that and so over here in this channel we don't believe in what these so-called Hebrew Israelites in camps and in these hateful groups believe in we don't believe in their hateful doctrines they will tell you that this scripture is talking about how, you know, the other nations, they're going to come up with the war tanks. They're going to aim their missiles at America. And that's going to be World War III, Ak. That's what it means. Some in archers, Ak. But we already know this is basically talking about Yahweh's people. The people that he has put his spirit on, right? He has given us the understanding to his words. That's the reason why the elect ones are going to continue to cast the righteous judgment on the wicked with the words of Yahweh. Those are the deadly arrows. Those are the ones who draw the bow. Do you see that? Do you want proof? Let's go ahead and show you proof. Because you always need proof, right? So let's start off in Zechariah 10 and 2 so that you can get the full meat of it. Pause. The idols speak deceitfully. Diviners see visions that lie. They tell dreams that are what? False. Like your so-called hateful Israelite camps out there. They give comfort in vain. Therefore, the people wander like sheep, oppressed for lack of a shepherd. So, therefore, my anger burns against the shepherds. And I will punish the leaders for Yahweh Almighty will care for his flock as it is happening. Praise Yahweh for that. The people of Yahweh though, and make them like a proud horse in battle. See that key point? It's not telling you to go out there and mount on war horses. No, for Yahweh, your God says that he's going to make you like a proud horse in battle. But what does it say in Proverbs? Yes, the horse, it is ready for battle, right? But what happened? Victory rests with Yahweh, so don't get proud. Okay, the next verse from Yahweh will come the cornerstone from him the tent peg from him the battle bow from him every ruler. You see that? You seeing that right? The battle bow, those 
those are the ones who draw the bow. Together they will be like warriors in battle trampling their enemy into the mud of the streets. They will fight because why? Because Yahweh was with them as it is happening. And they will put the enemy horsemen to shame. Furthermore, let's not forget about our brothers from the house of Joseph. I will strengthen Yahweh and save the tribes of Joseph. I will restore them because I have compassion on them. They will be as though I had not rejected them. For I am Yahweh their God and I will answer them. The Pariamites will become like warriors and their hearts will be what? Glad as with wine. Their children will see it and be joyful. Their hearts will rejoice in Yahweh. I will signal for them and gather them in. Surely I will redeem them. They will be as numerous as before. Okay? These are the ones who draw the bow. These are the ones that Yahweh is summoning. Remember? The Most High Yahweh says that He has invited those that He has consecrated to what? To a sacrifice. <laughs> okay, so you remember? How the Most High Yahweh says, There at my mountain you will eat the flesh of bulls and goats and lambs. Yeah, that's these wicked nations. 